Hello, welcome, student. We shall continue the chapter biomolecules. In that chapter, we shall study today the bio We shall study the bio molecules that in the last video we had seen that when the living extra living product crushed and filtered in trichloroacetic acid whatever that was in the acid non soluble pool whatever found in the acid this is the acid soluble pool <coughs> whatever we get in the acid insoluble pool that are called bio macromolecules in that we get protein polysaccharides nucleic acid lipids these are the components which we get in the acid non soluble pool and they are because they do not filter due to their high atomic weight except lipid uh, they are called macromolecules Understand because I have already told you those which are filtered, these are under the molecular weight 18 to 800. So, the, these are the product which we get in acid non soluble pool, and they are called bio macromolecules. Although they have their molecular weight from this to this molecular weight that is greater than 10,000 Dalton but lipid has only 800 Dalton its molecular weight but it is still found in the acid non soluble pool because when we crush uh, the cell members and others forms a vesicles forms vesicles with lipid and that is insoluble in water and also due to big inside due to formation of big vesicles that cannot filter that's why it is found in with the protein polysaccharides and nucleic acid because when we are living extract we see that there are cell membranes and other fragments and they make lipid with vesicles which are not able to get rid of it and they are insoluble and they are insoluble in water so this is called insoluble and this is called छन्ना के ऊपर ही पाया जाता है इसलिए इसको हम बायो मैक्रो मॉलिक्यूल्स कहते हैं नाउ वी शैल डिस्कस इच वन नाउ वी शैल फर्स्ट डिस्कस अबाउट प्रोटीन अबाउट प्रोटीन यू ऑल नो इट इज अ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स फॉर द लिविंग्स अंडरस्टैंड एंड इट इज यू नो इट इज रिस्पांसिबल फॉर द growth of the body is also forms hormones 
enzymes etc these are important for the livings now you know that protein is the combination of amino acids combination of amino acids protein is the combination of amino acids and we know that about 20 amino acids we know about about 20 amino acids are found in the protein as for example alanine glycine methionine aspartic acid glutamic acid and so on these are the amino acids are found and one amino acids is combined with the other amino acids in that way and the bond by which the amino acids are combined known as peptide bonds they are known as peptide bond suppose this is one of the amino acid h and these are the two amino acids are combined now this is the ns2 we may write in that position ns2 now this two will combined understand and then there is false so this is the conh this is the peptide bond and when the peptide bond will form one molecule of water this is h plus oh h plus oh means h2 is formed understand so this will whatever the uh, whatever the amount of peptide bond will forms that will there is a liberation of one mole of h2o jab bhi do amino acid milke ek peptide bond banayenge to jitne peptide bonds banenge utna hi h2o mukt hoga humne to is tarah bahut se ek ke baad ek ka amino acids milte gaye samjhe to isliye ab bahut se to bahut se polypeptides bante gaye is tarah hum kar sakte hain ki proteins are polypeptide friends proteins are polypeptides means so many peptide bonds found in the protein and uh, second next one the protein is the proteins are hetero polymers means that in their chains are found in that suppose amino acids they are the different amino acids they are combined by the peptide bond they are cup if all the amino acid will be same means if they are same 
then it is called homopolymer but if they are different then it is called heteropolymer so different types of amino acids are combined means that is suppose this is glycine alanine cysteine glycine like that means different types of amino acids will be joined in the formation of protein so it is it is called heteropolymer and so protein is the combination of amino acids so many and the amino acids some amino acids which are essential for the our body uh, that we get from the protein so according to the essentiality of the amino acids these are of two types one is essential one is non essential one is essential amino acids and next one is non essential amino acids understand so essential amino acids which we get from the outside so food in the form of protein means those we get from outside that are these are called with food means those we get from outside with food they are called essentials and those amino acids which are make by our body which are made by our body is non essential and which we get from outside by means of food that is called essential amino acid. and so collagen is one of the important collagen is one of the must abundant protein in animal abundant protein in animal any collagen ek aisa protein hai jo animals mein bahut hi zyada paya jata hai and next next ribulose biphosphate carboxylase oxygenase that is rubisco it is one of the most abundant protein found in the universe in the universe mein paaye jaane wala sabse adhik protein that is ribulose biphosphate carboxylase oxygenase That is विपिक्स को यह सबसे अधिक मात्रा में ब्रह्मांड में पाया जाता है नाउ नेक्स्ट वन इज पॉलिसेकेट्स दे जा रहा पॉलिसेकेट्स मीन्स दे आर सो इट इज अ कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स होमोपोलिमर मीन सेम टाइप ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल सेम टाइप ऑफ मोनोमिक यूनिट कंबाइंड टू इच अदर एंड फॉर्म्स दे इज लॉन्ग कंपाउंड एज फॉर एग्जाम्पल्स 
ग्लूकोज सो मेनी मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ ग्लूकोज कंबाइंड टू फॉर्म स्टार्च इन द सेम वे फ्रुक्टोज सो मेनी मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ फ्रुक्टोज कंबाइंड टू फॉर्म इन यूलिन दिस सो बिकॉज ओनली सेम टाइप ऑफ molecules same type of units are combined to forms and as i have already told you in the previous video that these are called monosaccharides when two monosaccharides will combine that will call disaccharides when more uh, three two so so many molecules of glucose will combine to form a starch so many molecules of fructose will combine to form insulin so same type of molecules take part in the formation of long compound long chain compound so that is called homopolymers and as a in the protein we have seen that different you have come uh, molecules take part in the formation of long chains so that was heteropolymer but as now you see that how they combines See us two. See us two. My other we can act in this fashion or in this one. H O H understands H O H these are forms in that now this will come by when the now oh, these are two molecules of glucose that is C six one two three four five six C six H twelve O six that is two molecules of glucose when two molecules of glucose Will combine each other by this. Then O H will will in the next step. Will what we will see that So this OH and H will combine plus H two means they both are combined by a bond by and one H two molecule is liberated and the bond is called bond is called glycosidic bond. so by means of glycosidic bonds many molecule combines to each other they may be in this fashion or either from in some way it will be from here the branches will come out so it may be in may be 
one is so this is the two uh, is means the uh, bonds glycosidic bonds are formed at each is at the conjunction at the uh, junction of the two molecules in this way many glycosidic bonds are formed and many molecules of glucose fructose whatever the molecule they will attach to each other and forms a long chain compound that is called polysaccharides so that is called so polysaccharides forms by the combination of many same type of molecules which are attached each other by glycosidic bond and as much glycosidic bond will forms so the same amount of water molecules will be liberated